How's it going everyone? As always, God bless you and thanks for being here. Today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys what I'm gonna be implementing in my new 60 gallon rimless setup. The tank's right over here, all boxed up nice and pretty. Um, I'm going to be building a brand new custom stand for it. So as soon as the stand is built, I'm gonna set the tank in it, get it filled up, and I'm gonna be pumping out some videos for you guys on this brand new system. So if you're new to the hobby or you wanna troubleshoot some issues that are going on in your tank, I highly suggest you look into these videos because they're gonna be super detailed. I'm gonna break everything down for you guys and you guys can follow right along and hopefully fix what's going on in your system or set up your own yourself. So back to what I'm gonna be using. Um, these five things are just some just neat stuff that I wanna implement. I uh, actually went down to my local fish store. There's a guy in there that's super knowledgeable about all this stuff. He's got an absolutely amazingly beautiful tank. And I mean, like with working out or with anything else, they always say, find somebody that has seen results and ask them what they're doing. This guy's tank is friggin' sweet. So this is what I'm gonna be using. Right off the top, we're gonna use some Refroids, which is right here by Polyp Labs. I'm sure you guys have heard of these before. Just awesome, awesome stuff right here. Uh, a little bit closer, what is it? Well, it's a blend of naturally occurring marine plankton. You can see right here, uh, this is gonna last a while because for every 25 gallons, you only need a quarter teaspoon. Okay, and then it should show you up right here, there's the crude protein. So lots of good stuff. It's really tiny. Here, I'll actually uh, open it up for you guys so you can see. Let me set the phone down here. This is for you guys that have never actually seen this stuff. All right, you can see how fine powdered it is. So you just mix some of that in with your tank water. It creates a very fine plankton powder. Um, and then you just dump that right in. So yeah. Good stuff. All right, let me put the lid back on this so I don't spill it. Cause that'd be my luck, just get it everywhere. As you can see, it's not real expensive, $15 for the 30 gallon. This is the, this is the nano system, but I mean, heck, a quarter teaspoon for every 25 gallons, this is gonna last quite a while, you know? And I, and honestly guys, if you don't have a lot of coral in there, you could even get away with doing less. Like if you've got a 50 gallon system, but you don't have a lot of coral, I would just really dose for the 25 gallons because uh, like I said, you don't want to overdose it, um, a lot of nutrients, but if you don't have a lot of corals and stuff, it's going to eat it up. You'd just be wasting it really. So $14, $15 for that. Next thing is going to be the Foundation Pro. Uh, this is a test that includes 75 tests for calcium, alkalinity, and magnesium. Those are the three big, big things you really want to look for um, if you're going to have a large coral system. So that alone was uh, $60 there. And then the Coral Nutrition Reef Energy by Red Sea, the A and the B. Uh, the A is going to be your carbohydrates and the B is going to be your amino acids. So you mix those two together, uh, dump that in your tank, and it's gonna just give you some awesome fuel for your corals. So that in conjunction with the Reefroids, boom, my stuff's gonna just be popping, guys. I'm also gonna pick up some Polyp Extender by Polyp Labs. Uh, they didn't have any, it's a pretty hot ticket item, so it just flies off the shelf. You add a few drops of that into your tank before you add this other stuff and your corals are just supposed to just, I mean, just puff up. I mean, just huge polyp extension with that stuff. It's pretty cool. <clears throat> so I'll be picking some of that up also. Finally, I'm going to be using Dr. Tim's one and only. So Dr. Tim's one and only live nitrifying bacteria. You just dump this right into the tank when you're starting it, and you can actually dump it in after water changes. Um, for me, I'm gonna do it when I'm starting the tank, and I'm also going to be doing it um, at least once every month. You cannot overdose this stuff, guys, so don't be afraid. Um, I'll even prove it to you right here. Cannot be overdosed. So don't be afraid, just dump it in there. It actually says it's best if you just use the whole bottle right off the get-go. Um, yeah, so this is gonna be good stuff. You can dump it in there and immediately afterwards you can add fish if you want. I'm probably not gonna do that just to be safe, but it does say that you can. So that's, a, that's basically the stuff I'm gonna be using, guys. I'm going to uh, bring you guys some new videos as soon as I get this tank up and running. If you guys have any questions or comments, please, please, please don't hesitate to put them down below. And I'm going to show you guys exactly what I'll be doing step by step in this tank. And if it becomes super successful, like I'm hoping and anticipating it will, I'm going to break everything down for you guys so you too can get that awesome coral growth and color that you're looking for. So stay tuned, guys. Um, if I get you know pretty big on this channel, I'll actually be doing some giveaways also. So stay tuned for that. If you're interested in winning some free coral, um, drop a comment down below so I can kind of put a, a face, you know, with a name, so to speak, uh, for future reference. And uh, yeah, I'll be doing some coral giveaways soon. All right, guys, take care. God bless.